Kennesaw State ready to kick it off and get this game going. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So Liberty's offense is on the field for the first time today. Here he comes, and any time this guy touches the ball, and he will touch it plenty, a bolt of electricity just goes through the stadium, David. And uh, they'll feature him. They'll give him the ball, like you said, a lot early, often. And he's a guy that can make game-breaking plays. The offense is built around his ability to run the football, Jesse, make big plays for this offense. Yeah, he really shoulders the load, right, in more ways than one. The offense goes as this guy goes. So it's going to be important in this one. They get him going early and off. Off play action. Got his man quickly. Makes the grab and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. I just love quarterbacks that aren't greedy and that aren't always trying to throw the home run ball, right? Second down, you're in your own end of the field. The guy you want to throw to is not open. Just find the back. He'll go do something positive with it. This guy is a weapon, and you got to find him in the passing game. Power football with the run. They get him at the 42, but he picked up 10 there. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football. Be physical. Get a big game. The Flames have it with a first and ten. He'll keep it himself. Still on his feet at the 45. And he was off to the races. Finally tripped up at the 36. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea. Because if he can get out in space and he gets a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. They'll snap it from the 36. They've got a first down. The give. Just enough room to gain a couple down to the 34. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. After picking up a couple at second and eight. On the option. Now the pitch. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. They'll run the option. He'll pull it on the rear. Now the pitch. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. Leaves it with the running back. Pulled down after a pickup of three balls at the 13. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. And he's loose and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Flames! And they just keep feeding it to their workhorse back to open this game. Great job in the open field. He's got tremendous vision. He can make people miss. You saw all of that on display here in the opening drive. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point makes it 7-0. So a drive there of 82 yards 
And the capper came on the run to the end zone from the 13. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. So Kennesaw State's offense taking the field. First chance we have to see them today. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play while they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Got three on first down at second and seven. Back to throw, it's Bryson. Takes the easy completion. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. Well, it's a nice play design there. You're getting the running back involved in the pass game. Quarterback gives it to him early so he can go to work upfield and get the first down. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. They'll go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Man, defense is about getting off the football. And when that defensive line can be disruptive and get in the backfield right away and mess up those pullers' actions on those counter plays, it can be really advantageous for the defense. Great job by the defense being hyperactive. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. He's looking to throw. Got the quick pass. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. In college football, you see this a ton now. You use a quick passing game, basically as the running game. Get a few yards, get your offense ahead of the sticks, keeps it on pace for success. Lining up, trying to convert this third and short from the 40. From the gun, wants to pass. Finds a spot in the middle. He'll have enough for the first down, and they stop him at the 45. Third down, the focus of the defense has to shift, has to change. We have to understand now exactly where the sticks are. We can't give up those plays for them to get beyond the sticks and get those first downs. This Kennesaw State offense is on the move. Give to the single back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow It's second and seven. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. They'll try to move the chains on this third and long from the 50. To the air, it's Bryson. Buying some time. The quarterback scrambled around, but the defense able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. And how about this defense? Your offense goes right down the field, scores on the first drive, and now you come out, get a big sack on third down, and force a punt. You talk about creating momentum early and shutting the home crowd up. Mission accomplished. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. If you like old-fashioned, grinded-up, run-over-em football, that last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was impressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical running by these ball carriers. Dude. And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive to try to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. Picked up two yards on that last when they need eight on second down. They go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
I love this linebacker because he's able to dissect what's happening in front of him, and he reacts downhill, he uses his speed to get to the line of scrimmage and create the negative play. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Loved the effort on defense that time. That looked like that was going to be a completion downfield, but the physicality of the defender jarred the ball loose. And the Flames will try to pin them back with the punt. Surprisingly makes a fair catch just outside the 40-yard line. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. Finds his tight end. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. They were able to find the tight end for an easy completion, but good job tackling, not allowing him to get the first down. And here comes the offense on second down. From the gun, the running back looking for room. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And that's a great job by the defense, understanding exactly the situation, understanding to stay home, play sound. No matter who gets the football, we're going to run to the football hard. We're going to cage the football, be disciplined. Nice job by the defense. They've got some work to do on this third and long from the 40. Looking downfield, it's Bryson. He hurls one deep down the left side. And this is dropped. Oh, my goodness. It was just too easy, and he didn't look it in. Woof. That's one of those plays where you're going, man, he probably could have made that. The defense wasn't great on the play, but guess what? It goes down as an incompletion. Those are one of those bullets that you've got to dodge throughout a game to get the win to limit those big plays. Looking for a block. It's Green. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. Liberty takes over, and the Flames offense ready to go to work. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Big play out of the gate to start this drive, and here they come again. They'll ride the hot hand. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical. They wanted to establish the line of scrimmage, and they're running downhill right at this defense, and they're churning out positive yardage early. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Going with the ground game left. At the 35, he's got room. And he will finally go out of bounds after another big gain, and they are absolutely gashing them with this running game. What great explosiveness by this running back to break through and almost get to the house, Jesse, but just comes up short. Well, I'll tell you, he had a lot of help downfield as well. Receivers getting blocks and making life easier on the back there. And all of a sudden now, this offense knocking on the door deep down in their opponent's territory. And that big gainer on the last one has them ready to go from inside the 10 with the run on first and goal. Not much room, he gets one down to the seven. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. They'll keep it on the ground, right up the gut, looking for six. And this one will be stopped for no gain. 
It's looking like they're going to have to try to throw this one into the end zone here on third down, David. Quarterback's got to be careful. Can't get greedy because you know these windows, they close fast. Extremely tight windows. Find your big body guys that you know can win in contested situations here on third down. On third and goal, they'll throw it. Pulls it in the end zone. Touchdown, Liberty. I don't know exactly what the defensive coverage was, but it certainly wasn't part of the plan to leave him that wide open. Oh, I don't, I don't think they know what their defensive coverage was either. How do you leave that big guy open down here in the red zone? You know the quarterback loves the big tight ends in this area. Really poor job by the defense. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they closed the deal with the seven-yarder for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Here comes the option. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, they're trying to go option, but the linebacker shows his open field tackling ability and also his recognition. He expected the quarterback to keep it, went after him, was able to make the tackle for loss. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting up field. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. That running game was impressive, taking them right down for a touchdown last time, David. Yeah, just mauling. No secret play calls, just simply we are more physical than you, and we're pounding the football right at you. So if you're on offense this next drive, take a look at their safeties and see if they're creeping up into the box. Because of your success running the football, this might be time to take a shot down the field and play action. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Maybe a three-yard pickup there. Third and long coming up. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third down, he drops to throw. Setting up the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Hey, man, sometimes you get the perfect play call at the perfect time. That time, the defense blitzing. Offensive line allowed everybody to run up field, and they slip in the running back screen and behind it. There was nobody there to make a tackle, and this offense generates a massive play. Feeling some heat. Unloads to the wideout. Lost the defense. He's wide open. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Well, this guy's going to make catches all over the field. That time, he lined up all the way to the left side, and he was able to cross the entire field to make a catch on the right side. Defense lost track of him, and it ended up being a big play. The Flames are marching down the field. 
Trying to find his man on first down. Caught near the sidelines. He'll pick up a few before going out of bounds. You just got to get this guy going in the offense. You got to hand it off to him. You got to throw it to him, too, on all different types of downs. I love it on first down here. Just getting him the ball in the passing game. Let him make something happen and set up second and short. And the Flames are threatening in the red zone. Now on the option. He breaks a tackle. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Boy, they'd love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Now the play fake. Gets rid of it. They're working that left side. They make the stop at the five-yard line, and they've got it first and goal. How nice is it in this offense to have a tight end like that guy that can come up with plays for you all over the field? We just saw the big third down catch. He set him up here in the red zone. I like going back to him, maybe lining him and flexing him outside, getting a one-on-one -on -one opportunity for him to use his size advantage. They'll run it on first and goal. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. And that is the final play of the quarter. And guys, Liberty has the lead here. Man, that was an impressive and dominant first quarter. Let's take a look at the stats before we move on. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. Trying to get in the end zone again. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Flames. This defense is going to have to do a better job being physical. That's two rushing touchdowns they've now allowed. They have got to be better close to the line of scrimmage. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they're up 21 to nothing. An impressive 66-yard touchdown drive. And they finish it off with the score from the four. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession again. The offense is going to have to score, and Jesse probably score pretty quickly. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. He leaves it with the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Defense did a really good job stringing that one out. You got to see the counter when you start to pull guys understanding. I'm going to spill that ball, make sure it bounces outside, out wide, doesn't come downhill. Great job by the defense understanding that and pursuing to the football. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Man, what a break on the football. He read that the whole way. He just couldn't finish it. You know he saw the end zone. He saw the grass in front of him to break on that and maybe take it to the house, but just a missed opportunity. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. Liberty takes over, and the Flames offense ready to go to work. From the gun, the ground game. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. 
When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. He'll do it himself. And he doesn't find much running room. A short gain on the play. You know, I really like this QB running the football because I know he's got a lot of speed, but he's not the biggest guy in the world. So he's not going to be able to break a lot of tackles. You really got to do a good job of trying to scheme ways to get him out in more space. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? A quick completion to the left, looking for the first down. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Well, they were counting on winning the one-on-one -on -one battle. They got the completion, but the yardage didn't work out. Yeah, and a lot of times, man, that's what I do on short yardage situation. Third and short, make my guy fall forward for a couple yards, try to get the first down, but it was a good tackle, and the receiver got absolutely nowhere after the catch. And that is just about a perfect punt as he pins them deep inside the 10-yard line. Gives it to the back on the draw. Gives him some room to operate as he rumbles ahead for six out to the 15-yard line. Effective draw plays in the running game really begin with the quarterback. The quarterback's got to be a great salesman. you got to really make the defense think it's passed. You keep your eyes focused downfield till the last possible second turn around and hand it off. And by that point, the defensive ends have rushed way upfield, and there's less bodies for the running backs to have to maneuver around before finally moving forward. Nudges ahead for one out to the 16. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. Looking left. And this is going to be incomplete on third. And I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they're going to do? Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. A chance to sort of put the defense on its heels if you convert a third and long. This one from the 44. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. The Flames will bring the punt team onto the field. Fair catch called for and made. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. They just haven't been able to get anything going, and they better get started or it's going to get away from them, David. Yeah, and these are the weeks that you really wish that you were playing a video game, and you could just reset the console, start over, Jesse, and make something better happen early. They just look like they're sleepwalking in this first half, and it's not just one guy. They, they just haven't been playing collectively as a unit and if I'm the head coach I'm considering starting to give some other dudes some chances here coming out on first down with the play fake 
And the quarterback bought some time, but not enough. Down he goes with the sack. I know it's early in this game, but man, this defense has had their number. They've done a great job. Already built a huge lead. Now getting this offense in a situation where they got to pass the football, and they better protect their quarterback better than they are right now. A first down sack can wreck a drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. They'll run play action. And he has a solid gain on the play before sliding. Nice job by the QB sitting back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home, take off and slide. I love the slide at the end. Don't take a big shot. Trying to move the sticks on third down. To the air, it's Bryson. Using the quick game. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give him a first down. See, I like this tight end because he's not just running flat routes and little stick routes and drags. This guy can get vertically down the field. He showed you his speed there running the crosser. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far, but starting to get things moving, it's first and ten. Got his man out of the backfield. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible, and sometimes it doesn't work in the running game. But I can throw it to him. I can try to create some space out wide, dump him the football, let him make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out of him. Quarterback on the keeper. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. And I tell you what, this is the big difference between the NFL and college football. So many guys, week in, week out, they just pull the ball down or they take a design quarterback run like this and chew up so many yards so fast, so dynamic, so athletic at the quarterback spot in college football. Leaves it with the back. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. And as an offense, having success on a run play like that early in the game just opens up all the possibilities of your playbook moving forward. Play action, running the ball, throwing the ball, screens, anything is at your disposal at this point. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. The play action fake. Finds his big tight end. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. I like the idea by the quarterback there. You're trying to get this first down, so you find the tight end, see if he can make a guy miss or shake a tackle. Not able to get it done. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Back to pass, it's Bryson. The throw. Makes the grab along the sidelines, but it'll be a little short of the first down. I'll tell you, for this defense, they're going to have to find a way to bracket this slot receiver because of how athletic he is. They're going to need to make sure they've got linebackers and DBs surrounding this guy at all times. Kennesaw State will try to move the chains on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Finds him out of the backfield. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. And that is the advantage of having versatility at the running back position, right? It's fourth down. Everyone in the stadium thinks he's going to get the handoff. But because of his ability to catch the football, he's a weapon in the passing game. And on a critical down distance like that, comes up with a huge first down. The give on the inside. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Operating in the red zone here on second down. One back in the backfield. He gets the carry. Tough running this deep in the red zone. He's got four down to the 11. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. 
On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. He caught it! And he'll step out of bounds just short of the goal line. Almost a touchdown, but not in there yet. You saw the tight end on a big play there in that last third down. Why not go back to him again here in the red zone with his size and his athleticism? He is a matchup nightmare down in this area of the field. Kennesaw State has a chance now on first and goal. Pushes ahead. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. And on offense, you know this is four down territory. You have to come away with a touchdown. You're getting boat raced in this game right now, and you're going to have to make this possession count. Yeah, definitely because of the slow start, now putting yourself behind the eight ball, I think this offense is going to have to be aggressive the rest of the game. They got mauled on the last play. Do they have anything that'll work on third and goal? Just hammer it with this running back again, and he noses his way into the end zone. Man, did he show some hops for that one. Some serious vertical right there. I tell you what, everybody in front of you, hey, I'll go by air if I need to. Good job getting in the air, getting a touchdown. On to attempt to try. And after the extra point, they're now down 21-7. to seven. So they played keep away and held it for 16 plays on the scoring drive and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. They've got it down to a two touchdown deficit trailing by 14 and about to kick it away. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Liberty takes over and the Flames offense ready to go to work. Found a little bit of running room, knocked down at the 24 after a pickup of four. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. From the gun, they'll try the middle. And he'll go down, but he delivered the business end of his stiff arm to that defender on the way. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. and They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. Caught behind the line, it's Henderson. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. This offense has a second down play. Back to throw. It's Salter. Just a short pass to the tight end. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. You know, David, this is really what game managing is. Nice pickup on second down to help them on the next play. Yeah, and I think people look at that negative sometimes, finding a quarterback that's a game manager. No, use your brain. Set up good situations. I'm, I'm way more successful when I can keep those sticks in a more manageable situation, and I'm not as predictable on a third down. Third and short like that on your own side of the field. You're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls incomplete. And the Flames will line up to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. He'll take it on the return. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. 
There's certainly still a hill to climb, but they've got to make sure these drives pay off. Got a touchdown last time. Can they back it up here? Well, and it's amazing in a football game how sometimes they'll surprise you with what you do. Once you get settled and you realize what's going on, now I'm comfortable with it. Jesse, this offense looked comfortable on its last drive. They sure did. It looked like they started to find some momentum. So now it's on this defense to stop that, all right? You're a little bit upset based on what just happened the previous drive. You've got to bow up again and go back to what was working earlier in this game. On second down, he'll fire. Quickly to the tight end. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. I think that time offensively, you're just trying to take what the defense is giving you, right? They're playing zone coverage. You got your big fella just working right over the ball. It's an easy pitch and catch. Just take the profit. And let's keep going. They're at their fastest tempo trying to get off this third down play. They'll try to get it through the air. Fires to the tight end. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. He's going to pass. He's got the back in the middle. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. And a great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. The hurry up now. Second down, clock ticking. Looking for a man. It's Bryson. Fires to the wideout. And he drops it. Just took his eye off of it at the last minute. And you got to put that one on the receiver. That's just a flat-out drop. That's a good throw by the quarterback. That's a catch that receiver needs to make. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. Got his man downfield. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's what... And the quarterback will be slung down back at the 43. They'll immediately call timeout. These guys are bringing serious heat. They are like sharks swarming and just getting after the passer. Just goes right through the wicket and brings up third down. Man, he will be thinking about that one. They're trying to get the receiver on a drag route and work him through all the bodies in traffic, but there's just too much happening. I don't think he saw the throw real well, and it falls incomplete. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. Makes a connection. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. They'll play it safe and try for three. And they weren't able to get him in the middle of the field, so now a 49-yarder from the right hash. Never a doubt for this big-footed guy. 49-yard field goal is good. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks, fellas. The end of a very entertaining first two quarters of football in Kennesaw. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Fifth Third Bank Stadium. The Flames will kick it off to start the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. 
He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. He's got the tight end. And he'll be run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Not a very productive play there. That first down was rather unproductive. Let's see what they've got on second down from the 16. Dropping back, it's Bryson. Fires to the big fella. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. I know a lot of people are going to look at that play and say, man, that was a bad play. Didn't gain any yards. But that could be the offense maybe setting something up. The play caller is going to remember that last play. He's going to remember how the defense reacted to it, made a quick tackle. They might pump that throw and then hit another player vertically down the field for an explosive play down the line. Just keep that in mind. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. He's finally stopped, but a big play there with his speed as he moves those sticks. And you're seeing here the difficulties defenses have trying to contain this guy. If you leave a lane open or you don't sack him right away, you allow him to get outside the pocket, he is going to take off, and he is very difficult to tackle in the open field. He's got running back-like ability out in space. Handoff to the lone back. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Give to the running back. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to thrive. Third and medium, hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third down. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. Well, the defense is on their heels right now. They're going to have to find a way to stop this guy. He's got a head of steam. Boy, he is hard to bring down. This Kennesaw State offense is on the move. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Oh, Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Just when they're looking run, now up top. Quarterback tried to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down. As a defensive end, trust me, I was a defensive end, I can tell you. You start getting a little lathered up. Now you got your second sack. It's only the third quarter. Your eyeballs are getting big. This is going to be one of those days. I'm going to get me three. I'm going to get me four. Shoot, I might even get me five. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. Back to throw, it's Bryson. Quickly complete. At the 35, he's open. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. Looking to move it through the air. They've avoided the interception all day, but they're lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. Well, a great job in coverage on the back end by the defense. You just got to finish the play. That should have been a pick. Long drive continues as the offense keeps working the ball down the field. Keeping it on the ground with the running back. Teamwork. 
third and long from the 30-yard line in this defense, hoping to knock them out of field goal range. From the gun, wants to pass. And this sophomore quarterback just put it out there a little too far. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. Looks as if they'll send out the field goal unit. He's got it. Showing off that big leg from 47 yards out. Putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here's the handoff. He'll get it up to about the 32-yard line before he stopped, and it'll be first down. Yeah, another good run. I feel like we could put that on loop, Jesse. Just another good run, another good run, another good run. Over 150 yards on the day. He's been the complete package, showing off all his skills today. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. The big defensive tackle getting off the rock. Nice job seeing play action, understand his pass, beats the guard, gets to the quarterback, and gets the QB on the ground. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. They'll run the counter. Runs ahead and powers his way for four yards out to the 30. Now this offense facing a third and long from their own 30. To throw, it's Salter. Fires to the right. Got his man! And the explosiveness, the big gainer, gets it to the 49-yard line. This is exactly why third down is practiced every single day. Third and short, third and medium, third and long. It's money down for a reason. you got to lock in. Great success by the offense so far on third down. And the Flames are on the move. Quick handoff. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one. Somehow, it's second and seven. Went with the running game on first down. Now back at it. On second down, they'll take to the air. Right through his hand, you just have to make that catch, and it'll be third down. Yeah, and you can tell he was trying to run with that football before he caught it. That slant route, you stick your foot in the ground, cut towards the QB. That's one of those plays where he puts it on the money, and you just try to make yards after the catch, but key word being after the catch. It'll be a draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And the defense is going to have to have more plays like this. He has had a ball game so far, running wild all day long. Defense finally comes up with a stop. Maybe get a little momentum here. Over 100 yards already in this game. So if I'm on defense here, I'm adding more guys to the box, anticipating that they're going to continue to give this guy touches today. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today. And no doubt he's going to earn his varsity ladder. Boy, they had a chance to track that thing down, but it bounces into the end zone for a touchback. They'll give it to the back. Found a little bit of running room, knocked down at the 24 after a pickup of four. Six. 
solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Running back searching for a hole. Works ahead for a couple. They'll stop him at the 27. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. They, when those guys, those running backs coming, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. Fairly manageable distance here on third down from the 27. Moving out of the pocket. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. And it's been a long day for this offense. If you can't protect your quarterback, it's hard to be successful. That's the fifth sack they have given up. The offensive coordinator has no answers, and this defense has been flying around. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. Running it back, it's Green. Oh, he gave him a dead leg. What a return there. Found a little running room and put his team in great position. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. Off the play fake on first down. It's complete. They will score. Touchdown, Liberty. Quarterback's abilities to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the timing. To be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone, that was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. And listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. That's taking advantage of a golden opportunity set up with great field position and they struck quickly for the touchdown. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. And the returner goes down. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. Lost five on that first play, and now it's second and 15. Dropping back, it's Bryson. And the sophomore just a little too much on that one. I love the decision by the quarterback. He found the open man, just don't love the throw. Got to be a little bit more accurate and make it easier on your target. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here already trailing big and the clock is not their friend still looking on the move and he avoids the hit and slides after the short game this is why third down is so difficult for quarterbacks because the defense substitutes they put faster guys on the field and they've got all their different exotic looks they've been game planning all week for some things you haven't seen on film yet and it confuses your offensive line it confuses you and you're out here just trying to make plays trying to do something right to get a first down wasn't able to gain a lot there that's usually prime return position but he'll make the fair catch just outside the 40. Liberty takes over and the Flames offense ready to go to work the short hands it's Mobley and just a short safe pass play they pick up a few I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. Trying play action. Fires to the big fella. And that corner came in hot despite knowing that he was giving up some size. 
That's a great example of the defense there tackling the catch. As soon as the big fella caught the ball, down he went, not picking up the first. That last completion still leaving them with a third down. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. The Flames send out the punt unit. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. And the punt hits at the six, and they can't down it, and it'll be a touchback. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Got it in the middle. It's Kent. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion, and the shortest throw on the field for the quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. The running back has it. Finds that crease, and he's got four out to the 29. Well, that didn't bust for a long one, but now third down becomes very manageable. It's not third in eternity. Now the whole playbook, short passing game, long passing game, all of it's available. They'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. Strike touchdown comes out and jump starts the offense. And man, we see this in college football so much explosiveness and firepower, and we get high scoring game after high scoring game, and it looks like we're on pace for one of those right now. Getting set for the point after. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they certainly finished it in style with a 71-yard touchdown run. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Liberty takes over the Flames, sending the offense back onto the field. They still have the lead here, Jesse, but this will be a good time to put together a drive. You're right, Reese. You can't rest easy right now. You just watch the opponent drive down the field to score a touchdown of their own, so you've got to answer that here. Your playmakers better step up. And I don't know what it is about momentum. In all the locker rooms, in all the years, coaching, everything, you can't quantify it, you can't measure it. And the momentum has swung to the other side. You've got to get it back. They'll give it on the counter. Gets the nose of the ball to the 25, give him one. So they're facing third and short from the 25. Looking for a man, it's Salter. Unloads to the wide out. And the third down pass is incomplete. Well, in the first half, this offense was up and down the field. It seemed like everything they were dialing up was working. And here we are in the third quarter, and there's a very rare incompletion on their own end of the field. Maybe that's the play the defense needs now to spark some momentum. And the Flames will send out the punt unit. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Waves the arm for the fair catch, and the catch is made close to the 30-yard line. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore.
Let's see what they've got on second down. Off the play fake. He's going to throw deep right side. And that's going to be incomplete, going for broke on second down, but third down's coming up. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass, locating the football, no PI, able to swat it away, pass incomplete. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. Quickly out to the tight end. You know, the tight end's going to have to do a better job of separating and giving his quarterback a place to go with the football. That time, just couldn't create it. And as a result, as soon as he made the catch, he was brought to the ground, setting up fourth down. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. Running it back, it's Green. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. Liberty takes over, and the Flames offense ready to go to work. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Now on second down. Looking to pass. It's Salter. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. They say no thanks to that pass interference penalty, and they'll take the results of the play. To the ground with the back. Make the stop at the 40, but it's a 10-yard gain and a fresh set of downs. And that is the final play of the quarter, and guys, Liberty has the lead here. They've built a cushion. They've got a nice lead. Now the task is finish the deal as you take a look at the third quarter stats. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. He's got him in the flat. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in the game like this, right, you still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. He's looking to throw. Powers through the defender. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. The Flames getting set on first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Looking to scramble. Trying to make magic with his feet. Able to get just a few before sliding to avoid the hit. You know, QBs want to make those big plays. They want, to, they want to put up the big stacks. But when nothing's there, sometimes you just tuck the ball, get a minimal game. I like the slide, by the way, too. Get down and don't take a big hit. And the Flames are threatening in the red zone. Off play action. They're bringing heat. Buys a little time. Breaks the tackle. He saw just enough daylight to move the sticks and get it done with his legs. It's just so nice as a coaching staff when you've got quarterbacks who make good decisions. And on a second and short play, you're throwing it, you're trying to catch the defense napping, you might take a shot, nothing there. Go get it yourself. Make the right decision to keep it, not panic, and get you a fresh set of downs. Grabbed in the middle, it's Mobley. Stopped at the three, but it'll be enough to give them a first and goal. 
This is so interesting right now watching this offense stay aggressive. They've got the lead in the fourth quarter, and you're thinking at home, we got to just run the ball and try to bleed the clock. They found something on defense they're taking advantage of. Two straight completions. I won't be surprised if they throw it again. Trying to pound their way in. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Flames. Well, let's count them up. One, two, three. Three is the magic number for touchdowns. Yeah, it's as easy as ABC. Goodness gracious, he's been getting whatever he wants, whenever he wants, however he wants. I might want to change something up or maybe focus on that guy that's getting the football a lot and scoring. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point splits the upright and the lead balloons to 15. So it's a 73-yard touchdown drive and close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team out there getting set. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. They'll throw it on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. And I've been there, fellas. This is no fun if you're a quarterback. All game long, you've got guys in your lap. You've got guys chasing you all the way across the field. You just never feel like you can get in a rhythm because this pass rush is in your face all day. Dropping back, it's Bryson. Back open in the middle. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Pulls it on the bootleg fake. He's going to let one fly down the middle. Fires into traffic, intercepted. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got a lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. They're going to throw it to start the drive. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. They'll line up for a second down play. He'll keep it himself. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. This defense really has their hands full, guys. They got to play with great eye discipline because they don't know who's going to be keeping the football in the run game. And that time, you saw the QB. He was able to kind of skirt his way to get some positive yards. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? Now the play fake. The sweet feet keeping the play alive. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. This quarterback doing a lot of good decision-making on that last play. First off, nice job extending, but then understanding what the coverage was, understanding nobody's open, and then going, hey, look, I can go get this myself, and finally, not only am I going to get this first down, I'm going to take care of myself, too. I'm going to slide. I practiced this all week. A little baseball slide action. We got a fresh set of bats. Catch in the middle. It's Smith. That completion gets them inside the 10, and the defense is running out of room to defend. You know what's interesting? At this point of the game, with the lead in the fourth quarter, the defense is expecting them to run the ball, and because they're putting so many guys close to the line of scrimmage, they're taking advantage, throwing it. Two straight completions now back-to-back. -back. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. And he wanted to get the score right there, but it falls incomplete. 
Well, the quarterback knew where he wanted to go with the ball. And wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. And they take another look at the play, but the officials on the field were right, and the play will stand. The run up the middle, trying to power to the goal line. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. If they can get it in here, we could have a thrilling end to this game. It is third and goal. They'll try to pass their way in. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. This defense impresses me. When they're in short yardage situations or when they're in goal line situations, they just seem to play tougher. They just seem to play better. They've got guys that get after the football and then other setting up fourth down. Never a doubt. And now the lead is even bigger. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. To the air on first down. Finds a tight end. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. You know, I know it seems like an easy pitch and catch, but for the tight end there, that route potentially changes if it's man coverage. So good job by him knowing it's zone. I'm just going to sit down. This is basically like a check down, right? Let's just take the easy pitch and catch and keep this drive going. Looking to throw, it's Bryson. Coming after it. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. These are the perfect situations you love to be in. Known passing situations. These are not where the offensive tackles want to be. And when you're on the edge and there's no threat of the run, pin your ears back, get the nice first down sack. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. And trying to put points on the board on third down, now they're staring at fourth down. Well, trailing this much in the fourth quarter, the offense is looking for an explosive play to try to ignite them and get them back in this one, but nothing doing. Nice job in coverage. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. Fair catch is made, but there is laundry on the deck, so we might be having a do-over. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. So the offense keeps his drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. Going up top on first down. Trying to escape and get it himself. A really nice run and gain, and he gets down to avoid taking punishment. I just love this guy's instincts, right? When things aren't open right away, he never panics. He just understands the situation where he is on the field, and he's so confident in his own natural ability that he has the ability to run, go get the first down, keep this drive rolling. Wants to throw on first down. Got the back over the middle. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. And that's why this guy is such a weapon in this offense, because you don't have to throw it far downfield. Just get the ball in his hands. He catches it close to the line of scrimmage, but look what he was able to do after the catch. He gets an explosive play for this offense. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. 
Snagged in the middle. It's Kent. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone. Make them execute and rally to the ball. 100%. Zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another down. Looking to throw, it's Bryson. If the quarterback's a little more on target there, maybe they hook up, but it's an incompletion. At this point of the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass, and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. They couldn't make the connection on second down. Now a third and seven to keep the drive alive. Throws to the wideout. And the DB right with him to knock it away. You know, it's one thing to take shots early in a game when the defense may not be expecting it. But at this point, fourth quarter, you're trailing by a lot. They know you're going to do it. And the defense was expecting that one. Great job in the back end. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. Throws toward the end zone. Downfield and incomplete. The defense holds. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll leave it with him. Pushes ahead for a couple. They'll mark it at the 33. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They'll go right back to him. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. I think you run that play on second down knowing it's going to make third down easy. You're not trying to hit a home run. You don't need the big play right now. Now you know third down, everything's on the table. Everything's available. High success rate. A third down try for the offense. They'll run play action. Working that left side now. And they do a really good job. Not as easy as it looks to get those blocks. And he picks up the first down. Love the play call offensively because you've got the lead. The defense expects you to run the ball. You just did it the previous play. So there you dial up play action, set up an easy throw, and you keep the clock ticking. From the 47-yard line on first and 10. The give to the single back. three-yard pickup they come to the line second and seven they feed him again they'll get him stopped at the 34 he's got 10 yards on that one and a first down I think you have to like what you see if you're the coaching staff here your offense is on the field and it looks like you got a pretty good drive going and you're just gonna try and keep this thing marching Keep the clock ticking. You've got a really nice lead here late. Just want to find ways to keep the chains moving. They're doing that. They'll run it. They want to take their time here. He works his way down to the 30-yard line before he stopped a gain of three. Got three on first down and second and seven. They'll try the run. Not a whole lot of room as he gets a couple inside the 30 to the 29. Coming to the line, looking for that first down on third and short from the 29. Looking downfield, it's Salter quickly complete he's out of bounds but not before picking up enough for the first down he has been the go-to guy on offense all game long and on a critical third down here in the fourth quarter surprise surprise guess who they go to that guy just outside the red zone first and 10 from the 21 the give to the back 
They make the stop after a pickup of three just inside the red zone at the 19. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. Here comes the offense on second down. He'll run it again. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. They turn to the passing game on third and short. Let's it go to the end zone. And it's a touchdown. It is also a play in which there is a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. They'll keep it on the ground. Got enough space. Touchdown, Liberty. And the pummeling has started. That one might have put the finishing touches on this game. This one is over. Game, set, match. The defense had a chance to maybe kind of keep their team in it, but the offense said, take it to the locker room. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. 75 yards on the touchdown drive, and it was capped off with an impressive 18-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. Not a lot to feel great about in this one, Jesse, but I'm sure they'll try to seek out some positives. Well, this might be an opportunity to reach to go back when they watch this game and just find the plays and the schemes that were working. There weren't a lot, obviously, David, but maybe an opportunity for the coaching staff to condense the playbook a little bit. I was going to say, there's not a lot of good to go back to. That'd be a quick film session because there was more negatives than positives. But when you look at this, this week you've got a week to figure it out, figure out what your offense is going to be moving forward. Getting some heat. And the defense gets to the quarterback. The defense puts the exclamation point on the day. They have had a wonderful day, man. Doing everything great. Just You could tell they were dialed into what was going on. And now just throw another sack in the equation. Hitting the quarterback, being disrupted. They've been all over the field. They'll snap it from the 25 here on second and long. To the air, it's Bryson. He's got his man. And they pick up just a few on that completion. And this offense is going to have to find more explosive plays. And it's, it's, it can't just rely on the dink and dunk. It's going to have to find itself and score more points. And listen, they got beat up today. But moving on in the future, they've got some good pieces. they got to find a way to fit them together, create some explosive plays on this offense, because today they've been lacking. Unloads to the wideout. A beautifully placed ball to the outside in the toe drag for the big pickup. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. He's looking to throw it. He's taking a deep shot. 
A sensational grab down the field there as they try to at least put a positive spin on the end of this game. You want to talk about big time throws. This dude has a missile launcher attached to his shoulder. And he fired that missile in the perfect area. But how about the receiver? You got to go up and make a play, too. Catch the ball with everybody around you. You know where the ball's going, and he's still able to come down with it. What a play. And despite this point being relatively meaningless, I suppose it could carry value for some. And the PAT is good. Helps the kicker stats and not much else, as this one is in the books.